Today we're checking out another projector, the Apollo P40 by Altamia. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. Some of the specs on this one, it's got 1080p native resolution, also supports 4K resolution, supports HDR10, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 700 ANSI lumens. It has auto focus and auto keystone adjustment. This one has Bluetooth 5.1 and a 10 watt built-in speaker. It's got a sealed and dustproof optical engine engine and is going to work best on a screen up to 150 inches. You can also do wireless music streaming on here. Inside the box you've got a quick start guide in several different languages. Typical remote control here, very similar to what you would see on streaming devices. Close in size to a Fire TV remote control. Audio video adapter. Power adapter. HDMI cable is included, that's always nice to see. As you can see, fairly slim for a projector, at least compared to some of the others I've tested. It's got a nice cover that slides over here for the lens. You've also got your remote control sensor. You've got several spots here to mount this one. Also has four rubber feet and your adjustable foot there towards the front. On the one side is where you plug in the power. Nice ventilation on both sides. All of your connections here in the back, HDMI, audio video, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack, plus two USB ports as well. Sort of interesting design here on the top. Almost looks like this is a record player. Now when you first boot this up, you'll be greeted with the Altamia logo. It's also going to do the auto keystone adjustment and the auto focus just to make sure everything looks good, which it seems to do a really nice job right out of the box. But it also gives you the option to go in and adjust things manually. On the home screen, this one actually looks very similar to the O-Touch projector that I've tested, which is actually one of the better ones out there. It's nice and simple. You've got shortcuts to AirPlay, Miracast, video, music, pictures, and Office Suite. Over on the side, you've got your HDMI and Bluetooth shortcuts. In settings, you've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, language, date, factory reset. And then in projection image settings, you can go in and adjust what's automated and which items you want to adjust manually. Then you also have system local update. Right off the bat, I can tell the picture quality on here is easy one of the better ones I've tested. Definitely saves a lot of time with the auto focus and auto keystone correction. It's got pretty good contrast and overall sharpness and while you could use this one with all the lights on, it's definitely going to look best with all the lights turned off. No matter what streaming device you'll be using, everything looks really nice on here from my testing. The fan noise isn't too loud on this one either. One thing that was a little surprising is just how good the audio sounds and anything past 50 is probably going to be a little too loud for most medium-sized rooms. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what to expect. You could also use this one for presentations since the text on here is nice and sharp. You can also play mobile games, which will look really good on here as well. As you can see here by my newest iPad, this one's going to be good for pretty much any type of gaming from retro to more fast paced games like racing or Rocket League. It didn't seem to have much lag on here either when testing on my Xbox. So that's always nice to see. So far, there's a few projectors that I've tested that I would say are my top five and this one is definitely one of those. The screen quality is excellent for 1080p resolution. It's got good contrast, nice sound, which is plenty loud enough, decent quality remote control, and I feel this one has just about everything you would need in a projector for a game room or your theater room. So really nice job here by Altamia, and you'll definitely want to check this one out, in my opinion. Easily one of the best projectors I've tested so far. Fight. 